Dr. Jesse Sanders, owner and chief veterinarian of Aquatic Veterinary Services. Today's video is going to be a little bit different, and I'm going to answer the number one question that I get asked by my clients is how the heck did I end up in this job? Well, it started when I was an undergraduate student at the University of Rhode Island. I was a marine biology undergraduate student and had the amazing opportunity to do volunteer work at Mystic Aquarium. Now, I signed up at the beginning of my sophomore year, and I am a little ashamed to the fish community to admit that I really wanted to work with marine mammals. I'm sorry. But thankfully, so thankfully, I got put in the fish and invertebrate department. And just the experience that I had working there with all of those wonderful aquarists was the best experience and probably the most fun I've had in my life when I was working with fish. And, you know, you kind of start doing the food prep, scrubbing a lot of tanks, cleaning a lot of equipment, but you know, you, you start asking questions. you like, why is this fish on this medication? Why do we do this in quarantine? And eventually you ask enough annoying questions where you tap out the staff. And they're like, you know what? That's a good question for the veterinary department. So they sent me over to the vets who I discussed, you know, what I was thinking about as far as a career. Um, I had gotten my veterinary assistant certificate when I was 16. Uh, had observed a uh, spay and did not do well with the sight of blood. So I figured that my lifelong dream of becoming a veterinarian might be out. So at that point, when I was now in college, I figured I'd be working on a master's degree in marine biology. But in talking with the vets at Mystic Aquarium and working on a few projects for them, kind of seeing more what they did, they really pushed me to pursue a veterinary degree. Which was great because again i was one of those kids that always thought i'd be a veterinarian i started reading when i was really really young about you know bringing home your first puppy or kitten and all the care that they would need but now here i am in college working at mystic aquarium and it was again kind of what kick-started me down my path so i applied to tufts university uh got waitlisted uh got accepted eventually probably because i was the one weird fish kid um ended up graduating from Tufts and moving out to the West Coast. So I'd always lived in New England, just wanted something different. I had some family out in California who I knew. So picked up and moved out. Now when I got here, I figured that I would be in private practice for a little bit and kind of see fish on the side. You know, adding to whatever practice that accepted me, adding to their client base, adding to their revenue streams. But nobody wanted to take me. Um, again, new grad, it's really hard sometimes for a new grad, just plop down to find a job. So after six months and one really, really sad job offer, uh, looking around with all these koi clubs and all these koi ponds that were in our area, I went ahead and decided to start my own mobile service exclusively for fish. A lot of people told me I was nuts and they were wrong. So being a exclusive aquatic practitioner um, in the United States as of making this video there are two of us that's it um, there's a lot of other veterinarians that practice fish on a part-time basis but we are the one most successful and most profitable fish practice in the country and hopefully I will inspire many more veterinarians to at least be capable of handling fish so again when I was coming from the aquarium I thought I would be an aquarium veterinarian but you need to go through a lot of extra certifications and a lot more teaching in order to land one of the very, very selective posts. So by doing private practice, I got to skip all those steps and still play with fish, which is great. I absolutely love what I do. I love my job. I love working with my clients and my patients. And it is so rewarding when, you know, meeting clients for the first time after that first appointment, and the amount of information that I'm able to give them and teach them and that they are able then to take and take so much better care of their fish is the best part of my job. And I love doing education, these videos, our blog, our website, it's all for you and it's completely free. Like this is why I do this. I want your fish to be happy and healthy and live the longest lives possible. 
And that's what I will continue to do. I'm not leaving this career path anytime soon. Uh, we're actually in the process of adding more veterinarians to our service. So hopefully there'll be more veterinarians coming to a uh, city near you that are happy to work with fish. So thank you again for watching this rather unique video to our vlog. Um, Again, this is the question I get asked most by my clients, and I'm so happy to share this story to all of you who are maybe interested in becoming fish veterinarians. Again, you don't have to go full-time. You can go part-time. That's perfectly fine. And there are a lot of different avenues in aquatic veterinary medicine that are open to you, and there's more being opened every day. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, uh, please visit our website at cafishvet.com. Uh, there is a link in the comments about my journey and some resources for students who are interested in learning more about aquatic veterinary medicine. So thank you again. And at Aquatic Veterinary Services, fish are treated like family.